dear students today i am talking about reproduction in organisms reproduction in organisms this chapter contains a weightage of 5 marks in the annual examination now first we are going to see what is reproduction reproduction is nothing but it is a biological process it is a biological process where it produces young ones produces young ones or offsprings or new individuals new individuals of its own kind or we use the word same kind and repeat this reproduction is a biological process where it produces the young ones of its own kind and this young ones this young ones should be similar to the similar to the parents similar to the parents so the young ones resembles the parents for example for example humans humans produce their own type of egg ones for example male baby male baby resembles the father whereas a female baby resembles the mother not in size but they resemble their own type so we use this reproduction is a process to produce the egg ones of its own kind and this will be continued the race will be continued from one generation to another generation this race should continue or the reproduction should continue from one generation to another generation next here we are going to see how does the reproduction will be continued for example for example elephants will reproduce to produce only elephants one to reproduce only elephants not the other not the other animals clear so this is about the elephants produce if elephants never reproduce at all automatically their generation will be stopped so so reproduction is a must to continue the generation reproduction is a must to continue the generation from one generation to another generation has it continues clear this is about what is reproduction i'll summarize this reproduction is a biological process to produce the egg ones of its own kind and it should resemble the parents and this will be keep on passing of their race generation from one generation to another generation to continue the life to continue the generation now let's say one i'm giving you one more example let's say a mango plant mango plant produces mango plant produces mango only mango plant only because it should continue its generation or it should continue its race now we we'll go for the next heading reproduction and the development of embryo will stand as a 
सेपरेट ब्रांच अंडर बायोलॉजी कॉल कॉल एम्बियोलॉजी दिस ब्रांच इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एस डेवलपमेंटल बायोलॉजी इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एस डेवलपमेंटल बायोलॉजी और इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एस कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ लाइफ so reproduction as well as the development of embryo comes under a separate branch and this branch is called as embryology developmental biology or continuity of life we are going to see one after this we are talking about embryology the father of embryology the father of embryology is van beek the father of embryology is van beek and the father of indian embryology the father of indian embryology is p maheshwari P Maheshwari. The word P Maheshwari represents Panchanama Maheshwari. He is called as the father of Indian embryology. The father of embryology is Van Bey. Now, what is embryology means? Embryology is it is the study of it is the study of embryo. This branch deals with the study of embryo. The word embryo means it is a mass of cells. Or we use the word ball of cells. This ball of cells or a mass of cells are being produced from a zygote. We are going to talk what is zygote. So here the embryology deals with the study of Study of embryo. The word embryo means ball of cells or a ball of cells formed from the zygote. Now we are going to see what is developmental branch. Developmental branch. The meaning of developmental branch. The development. of a zygote is converted to embryo and the embryo is further changed into fetus and after the delivery we use a word child this developmental stages is called as developmental biology now we are talking about How does a zygote or embryo is formed? One after the other. So we know that parents, for example, the male parent and the female parent produces the gametes. The male parent produces a male gamete called as sperm, and the female parent produces a female gamete called as Egg or ovum. The male gamete and the female gamete is fused to form a zygote. So this zygote is always a single cell, only one cell, single cell. This is nothing but where the new individual is formed from the zygote. Now this zygote undergoes repeated mitotic divisions. It undergoes repeated divisions or repeated mitotic divisions to produce a ball of cells, to produce a mass of cells called embryo. So this embryo undergoes further changes to form three germ layers. To form three germ layers called outer ectoderm and the middle. 
and the middle we use a word mesoderm and the inner layer called endoderm this thing is at least this three germ layer gives rise to a futers the word futers it is nothing but a small individual or small egg one produced inside the uterus or inside the female uterus then it is called as a futers after the full development of the futers it gives birth to the egg one called as child so this changes is called as developmental biology now we are talking about this is all the developmental biology or embryology is also called as continuity of continuity of life continuity of life now all the living organisms those who are living they must ensure reproduce all the living organisms either there are different types of reproduction asexual or sexual one or the other all the living organisms must and should reproduce to produce their egg ones and this helps in continuity of life for example as i already mentioned elephant as one of the example where it gives birth to its own time called as elephant like this to continue the generation all the living organisms will reproduce for example we'll talk about as i have given you about mango so the mango tree produces flowers the flowers are called as the reproductive part of a plant body in the flowers it produces a male reproductive structure called as antheresium and a female reproductive system called as gynoecium the antheresium produces pollen grains as a male gamete as a male gamete it produces pollen grain as a female gamete it produces egg or ova the fusion of a pollen grain and a ovule it gives rise to zygote and this zygote helps in the formation of embryo and it gives rise to the new plant called as mango plant if you are to a new plant called as mango plant so it helps in perpetuation of generation i am giving you some more other examples for example in your family if if your father and mother never reproduces the life cycle is stopped there and no young ones will be continued in your family so the family will be stopped there so reproduction is a must for the continuity of life so for example one more example dinosaurs we are not seeing the dinosaurs but still dinosaurs dinosaurs was existed if dinosaurs would have been continued we had a chance of seeing the dinosaurs and their life was also being continued if dinosaurs continued we had a chance of seeing it but still dinosaurs never reproduce because of lot of problems it may be space problem or one or the other environmental problems it stop reproduction so we don't have a chance of seeing the dinosaurs same way if any plant or an animal never reproduces it becomes extinct meaning of it no individual of a same species will remain so reproduction helps in continuity of the organisms and to avoid extinction there are many examples for example one more i'm talking with a woolly mammoth white elephant which has not reproduced so woolly mammoth has become extinct dinosaurs has become extinct so reproduction should be continued and it should not stop for the continuation we go for generation to generation the life will be keep on continuing so this is about small hint about what is reproduction embryology developmental biology or continuity